So I've added some more weight to the stack this week. So as you guys know, I've been saving up for a nice gold piece. I've set some cash aside for that, another $40 Canadian, or $50 Canadian this past week. So I'm up to $90 there. But I did add some silver to the stack in the meantime. Now this week I spent the full $10. One of the few times I spend the $10, but for those who don't know, I stack at $10 a week no matter what as a part of a challenge, an ongoing thing many channels do. And I got one nice piece here. So that would be the Alex Colville 50 cent centennial coin Canadian piece. Pretty happy about that. Because who doesn't like these pieces? They're nice and shiny. This is a few scratches on it, long neck Liz on the back, but it's in pretty good shape, so I got it. As you guys can see, it still has a decent amount of luster there, but it's got some scratches on it. So that is going to go into the $10 a week stack. But I also got some more silver now. This next piece I'm going to show you, so I paid $10 Canadian for that. But, the next piece I'll show you, kind of fun, I got in my change, it is a 1965 Canadian Quarter. So as you guys can see, it's pretty marked up and everything, but it's a free, well, I guess it costs face value, but for this marked up silver quarter. And now I'm kind of surprised when people do see the long neck Liz portrait on the back. Can't really tell with how marked up this is, but I'm kind of surprised people don't double check all of those portraits anytime they come across it. I'm going to put that off to the side though, just because it's not really a part of the $10 a week stack. I spent the $10 on that. So I still have $27.25 from what I've saved up before in this challenge. But I also got some more silver besides that. Because who doesn't like more silver? So I got some more generics. And I actually got two more Engelhard bars. So yeah I ended up pouring this bar out of the generics I got this past week from the silver I added to the stack. Now there's still a bit left over, it's 2.8, so it's 2 point, or 0 0.2 ounces from the 2 ounces that I grabbed this week. But I've been kind of just got the cheapest silver I could find, playing around with it, and trying to see how shiny I could get, how nice and clean I could get the silver, and also kind of, I'm thinking about just playing around, seeing what you can do if people want anything toned. But, yeah, right now I'm just trying to see how shiny I can make it. And basically how clean I can make the bars and everything and clean I can pour it. So this bar here, it's... It's not my best bar that I pour, but it's, it's still pretty nice. It's got a little piece on the bottom left there, but it's still nice and shiny. It's still nice, smooth, clean, and I'm pretty happy about it. So that's what I did with the extra silver that I got this past week. And please let me know if you guys want any videos on something like stamping or anything like that. I do have a few rounds that I... and a couple bars. Then I'm just gonna, I was wondering if you guys want to show you how I stamp, things like that, because I've been asked quite a few questions on how I stamp silver and everything, but that yeah, basically sums up the weekly purchases. I didn't buy a whole lot this past week, bought a bit less than normal, but uh, I stack like a turtle. 
stack like a tortoise. That's basically what it's all about. That's kind of how I do it, and the price is above that $25 an ounce, so I'm really not rushing in to buy as much as possible. I'm just kind of slowing down, collecting, having some fun with the pours, and just taking it easy, kind of. I accumulated quite a bit last year. It's back up above that $25 an ounce now, so... Yeah, I'm gonna... Just chill out on the buying, stack like a tortoise again, and basically have fun with it. Get some nice shiny maples, kind of go at my own pace with the stacking, I'm gonna, still going to try to meet some goals that I set this year, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be rushing into everything and doing too much too fast. I just got those 20 maples the other week, and... Yeah, it's pretty good for the month, really. I, in order to meet my goals, I don't need to be stacking more than 20 a month. So, yeah, I just made a big purchase. I'm chilling out for now, having some fun, relaxing, taking it easy with the stacking. It just went back up a bit. I'm happy I bought a lot last week, so when it's under that $25 an ounce, kind of worked out. Yeah, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and go enter my 500 subscriber giveaway that I have going on right now. Link is right up in the top there. Stay positive. See you next time. Thanks.